Hey, this is Lion Fox and welcome at my rational review. Please support the channel, please subscribe and please go and donate on patreon.com. So today is our breakfast portion of our Ration Tech 2022 Tactical Pack uh, 5200 KKL Ration. This is a 24 hour ration and it's menu 2, I think I said that already, but anyway, let's see what we are gonna do. We're gonna have a biggest breakfast, so this is just the sugar. Just put it here, I'm not going to use it in my porridge. Alright, he's going to do the fruit cubes. We're going to do the orange drink since it's breakfast and you need to do this with orange juice, whether it be real actual orange juice or fake isotonic drink. You will most likely make this up in breakfast, this day makes half a litre. You can get away with uh, at the most I think 750 moles. So you will most likely just mix this and then carry it with you as you would do with the fruit cube. We have got the peanut butter which I've needed some because it was really not mixed well and it looks a bit runny for my taste. But you'll see how it goes. We've got two of the four digestive biscuits to see how it goes with the peanut butter elsewhere you can use, eat this as anywhere when you want you can do it with the peanut butter as well keep this as well for later in the in the day and just squirt some peanut butter or I don't know what you do with the peanut butter I understand why they put peanut butter in rations but it's a bit Especially these runny peanut butters, it's a bit waste of time for me, I don't know. We've got all of our um, creamers here because we might just need them. And we've got the two coffees. Why the two coffees? Because South African coffee is very mild. And if you put in a whole cup of water, it's really too much for both of these. This is really not a lot of coffee. In fact, it's so mild that if you don't like coffee, you can do it. And then we've got the banana maize porridge, which I absolutely hate. I don't know why they have the banana flavor. The strawberry is fine when it comes to maize because it's not a weird flavor. The vanilla is, I think, the best, the better of the lot. The base sorghum, the, the normal original sorghum is fine. The banana sorghum is something else again. I just don't like this fake banana taste in porridge. Why they ever decided to have strawberry and banana, I don't know. They could have ju they just as well done a chocolate maze. It would have made even more sense because it leads to chocolate. But they could have just had normal vanilla ma flavored maize porridge. I actually do know that when you, we, I was in school, some people used to took their normal maize porridge, which was not flat flavored, and pop some peanut butter in there, which would make sense, I think, to Americans, because they add peanut butter to everything. But anyway, we will, this takes a cup of water. They don't say anywhere how much to use. But it more or less takes a cup of water and you let it stand and you can always add a bit more and a bit more. There's no sp was asked the other day, I don't remember if it's G uh, Gundog or G Schultz or which, who exactly or exactly who asked how to mix this. I haven't found any way to actually mix this to not get clumps in it. Every way I've done it before did add lumps. The only way I can think about it, but it will really heat up very badly, is mixing it with cold water and then heat it. But they do say use hot water here in the instructions. And I'm not gonna, I don't have a pot to actually ruin in my attempt to do it with cold water. Because I think that most likely would be the outcome. In any case, or oh, I could try, I might, 
I'm not going to try it in the microwave. I'm, I'm not going to. Don't want to clean the microwave if this stuff just decides to boil over. That's the other problem you might have with this. But I haven't. That's the only thing I can think about is mixing this stuff. With, but then it's so fine, and it's. It, I don't know even know if that would work. But the only thing I can find to make the least lumps is you put in half the water and mix thoroughly then you put in the rest or some more water and mix 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 and use a fork the spoon in all the sport is filled with this stuff which I can't find at the moment I oh, know there it is this is a little bit of a fork isn't enough to actually mix this porridge I don't know if a stick will work or something but the don't mix this with the porridge with a spoon the spoon just doesn't have enough force to mix it maybe if you use a uh, whisk but then it might be a bit thick for a whisk as well the best I can figure is use a fork and mix very 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 vigorously and for a long time that's why you put in the water not all at once. I think your porridge will be cold by the time you've actually mixed this. But this is the only way I've ever figured out to get the least amount of lumps or the smallest little lumps you can get. I think this thing, this is just a lumpy porridge. It is just how these porridges work. So we're going to make some. Okay, we've... Ooh, I just don't miss. We've got everything here. Bring in the porridge. Let's start with the porridge. Why? Because it's hot still. You can see here I chose the most forkiest fork with the most longest teeth. It's not the best looking in the cupboard but it's got the longest teeth. And I think I did a good job of removing all of the um, or not sorry not all of but most of the lumps that's in there this does have a slight um, raw ma maize taste it's got sort of a slight banana -ish taste which I don't really like it's um, sort of a finished consistency but not as um, you can see there sort of runny but not really runny you can see there, there is still fine little lumps in there, I think. So let's do a taste. It does have a fine banana taste. You do get that maize taste, that is um, raw maize taste. But they still don't say cook it. But we will dump in some creamer now. Ah. Just dump in some two sachets of creamer. And again I'm going to use my fork to stir everything in. Still got that um, slightly raw taste because not all of the granules got um, absorbed but mixed vigorously. It's got the more creamer taste. It sort of dampens down on the um, banana taste. And a bit on that raw maize taste. But you still get a raw maize taste with this porridge. It's not good but well it is filling. So let's do some coffee. Again I added too much water. I always add too much water. Let's just put these aside. I... Then no, I always add too much water. But because you mix this, this does cool off a lot. So you might just want to put this somewhere. That's why you use a bit of water and mm, yeah, this does cool off quite quickly. Needed this a lot. And you can see very, very runny. I know when I went to school, some people actually add their peanut butter to their maize porridge. 
Yeah, but this is very runny. It does have a peanutty taste. Being so oily and runny does mean that it's not as dry as it could be, but it still sticks to your mouth a bit. Let's do our orange drink. This does have an artificial taste. If you mix this with a 500 ml, it's very strong for me. It's too strong. Add a bit more water and it gets a bit bitter. When it's mixed with 500, it's strong. It almost tastes like a Super C. It's got that uh, astringent taste. It does tone down a bit when you add some water or more water. It's not bad for an artificial drink. It doesn't claim to be anything else. Let's see the digestive biscuits. Very bland oat cookie. So we will put some um, peanut butter on there but because the peanut butter is so <coughs> runny I'm not going to try and put it on the cookie it will just run off. I'm going to put a bit in my mouth and then taste the bite of the cookie. So this just tastes like peanut butter overwhelms the cookie completely. Sort of just peanut butter on a bread product which I think might be the way to go. But don't put it on the cookie, sort of spurt some in your mouth and then take a bite of the cookie. Then it just tastes like peanut butter and a crunchy bread. It would have been nice if they had a little jam for a bit of sweetness with the cookie. But they don't. Let's take some more coffee. And between the coffee and the cookie, the coffee is so mild that the cookie does actually go good with that. So the only thing we've got left for breakfast at all is one of my favorite items in the South African rations when it comes to um, sort of candy or your snacks. It is the fruit cubes. So there's a bunch of sugar in there, there's some fruit juice and then there is gelatin. It's a very very stiff gelatin sort of sweet. These are their um, citrus flavors. They also have a berry one. This does not taste the same as some of the other fruit cubes I've seen in the shops but I have seen a um, grapefruit flavored fruit cube and I didn't get an extra little pack to review I must go and hunt for it and see if I can find it when I actually have time to do to walk around in shops if I can find it here I found it in Cape Town in one of their shops and I can't remember which one it was either I don't know but that almost tastes like this, so I'm not sure if it's the same thing. But most of the other little fruit cubes does not. But anyway, these ration cubes, we've got some orange, I think this might be lime, and then we've got some, uh, oh, what do you call it, lemon. These are definitely lemon, lime and orange. You can see there you get a whole 60 grams worth of them. Oh, there's a lot of them there. Um... Most of them actually it's orange. So it's a citrusy flavor. That is sweet. It's got a stiff gelatin structure. For me it's it, I really this is my favorite or one of my favorite snacks. I think you can buy them separately as well. I almost bought some but yeah. I didn't in the end. But anyway. This is all we've got. So let's taste our porridge again and see if it's Besides from cooling, if it's actually, it's got a bit stiffer now that it's cooled. So you can always add a bit more water. The longer it stands, the more jelly, um, stiffer it gets, but, and the, the softer your maize gets, but it does get cold. Um, I'm, so you have to either keep it a bit stiff and then add some more water before you eat it, or... Um, Actually, I don't, know, I don't know if you can try and boil this on the fire. Maybe you could. don't know if anybody ever tried it, but... Anybody in the SBC that had this porridge? I couldn't have never been able to find actually how to mix this. But this is our porridge. And the creamer, the reason I like to add two creamers, you can even go three or four, is that the creamer taste sort of overwhelms the banana taste. Which, in my opinion, is a good thing. It also suppresses the, the raw uh, maize taste some. So if you don't mind 
popping all of your creamers into your um, porridge or maize. Do that, you can drink black coffee and tea, it hasn't killed anyone yet. You can also add sugar in here, but for me it's too sweet, that's why I don't add sugar. And I also don't add sugar in the coffee and tea because I just don't like sugar in coffee and tea. It's, I don't, it doesn't go well. Um, the cookie is not, not really a bland cookie, so you do need some, I think, of the peanut butter to liven it up a bit. I'm gonna see how the cookie goes with the uh, strawberry uh, lactose free drink some in the with uh, dinner but for this you can actually use the the cookie and the or this digestive biscuits go well with this uh, yeah as I said I'm not a fan of peanut butter because I'm not really a fan of eating it just like this but I do know why it, it is here it's for protein and fat well anyway stuff I know that so it's a good source of energy, protein and some other stuff, although it's not a nut. And some other vitamins. In some places I know they use, give people just plain peanut butter as a food supplement. So that's why it's there. The fruit cubes, as I say, my favourite ration thing. The, the cool drink, if you've got it, make it on how they say. It tastes a lot like the Super C's. Coffee, very, very mild. So if you're not a, it's not a really stringent coffee, it doesn't have that astringent coffee taste, it's a very mild, I don't know if it's like a light roast or whatever you would call this. If you don't like coffee, you won't have a problem with this. It's not the coffee coffee, but if you like, like strong coffee, you have to actually bring your own along. And I think that is everything, I think I've just described everything for breakfast. It was the breakfast of the, or the one I have anyway, the, um, Ration Tech 3200K Calde Tactical Ration Packs, menu number 2 for uh, 2022. These rations of course may vary because they pack it as it is done and you can order stuff if you, they mostly make for the large, I can't remember the word, but for, if you're ordering large quantities, sort of, I mean, pallet worth of cases, it's for the large, the, big consumers and the militaries and the whatever expeditions you do it's not really for the US individually mar they don't really market it such as that's why you just we just get all of the stuff that is I want to say the leftovers and if there is some stuff left they usually as I say pack for large consumers but this is interesting I hope I can get some of the other rations still but this was my review and thanks for watching. Please support the channel, please subscribe, please go and donate on patreon.com and see you at my next ration review.